Today I'm going to talk about a case of diaphragmatic paralysis. Uh, basically, it's a, a, a diaphragm that does not work, does not move. This patient, uh, is a, the chest x-ray looks like this, um, pretty much normal, heart, both lung, the diaphragm on the left side, patient's facing us, this is patient's left side, patient's right side, this is the right side diaphragm. The, norm, the function of diaphragm is supposed to contract and drag the, di uh, drag the diaphragm down to pull the air, to pull the lung bigger, so therefore suck the air in, into our lung. And when the diaphragm relaxed, the air was pushing out. So um, this is normal function. The patient is uh, going to have a um, cardiac surgery in a few days. So um, I don't know why, but uh, the next day, the patient uh, had a chest tube placement. The chest tube is like a basically it's a literally a tube come from the skin through the um, through the pleural space and end up here between the heart and lung. That uh, I suspect this chest tube uh, may be damaged a nerve that that move the, that caused the move of the diaphragm. The nerve came from the uh, neck, and it's called phrenic nerve, which is controlling the diaphragm, go between the heart and lung right here, and may be damaged by this. Why? Because the, the diaphragm used to be this high, and the, the other side is this high. Now it's a way different. The right side diaphragm is way a lot higher than the left. It basically means this part of the diaphragm is not moving, and therefore it's not dragging the lung down, and therefore part of the lung never expand. And this uh, this happened in uh, February 2012 and then this is a year later in 2013 it's still like that. And this part of the lung was never really filled up again. But the patient may not be symptomatic because only, hi uh, only part of the lung and doesn't affect the left lung so the patient may not be symptomatic. By the way, by this time patient already have the heart surgery for the atrial fibrillation they are the wires, the metal wires, to, to basically uh, sew up together the bone that in front of the, our chest, the bone needs a stronger wire, so this is metal wire to sew the bone together. It's called the median sternotomy wires. So um, this is a uh, CT study to show that the diaphragm is uh, elevated uh, higher than normal. The, l the liver is pushing up. It's really not pushing up because the diaphragm is not moving, so the the, the pressure tend tend to push it up. This part, this this part is the uh, collapsed lung that never really get filled. So this is a case of diaphragmatic uh, paralysis, and possibly caused by this chest tube insertion because there's nothing. Uh, this is a one a six days apart, and there's um, no, no other event happened. The the, the uh, surgery happened later. Um, This is an internet uh, uh, diaphragm to show that's normal heart. This this one just opposite uh, opposite uh, of uh, this black. The white part become black, a black part become white, but doesn't matter. Show the same physiology. The heart, the lung. When patient is taking deep breath in, the diaphragm is supposed to drag it down, so the lung getting bigger. So the left side is doing what it's supposed to do the left lung is getting bigger because of diaphragm dragging on. The right side, the diaphragm, the muscle is not working. It's passively follow the lung up. Why? Because of the this side drag the lung down. It have a, cr a cr uh, create a vacuum to suck the air in. The air not, not only come from the mouth, also come from the other lung. So this lung is getting even smaller while, you, while the patient is taking a deep breath in. So that's why uh, this part of the uh, diaphragm doesn't work. And when the patient breathe out, um, the lung, so the diaphragm is supposed to move up the right side. It doesn't move just, just the opposite as the normal side. It's because it's not moving well. Um, this is a the, the picture of chest tube. That's from the internet. Uh, this chest tube is supposed to drain the fluid, can drain the pleural fluid, can drain the air in the uh, in the pleural
virtual space, which is called pneumothorax, the trace tube is very useful, but sometimes it has complications that uh, may damage the phrenic nerve. The phrenic nerve is the nerve that uh, gone right here, from the neck going through right here. Here's a phrenic nerve going between the lung. This is a picture of drag the lung on the side, so you can see the nerve. Otherwise, the lung is covering it. It's running between the lung and heart and innervate the diaphragm. The left side have another phrenic nerve, but this one may be damaged from the chest tube. So this is a story of a diaphragmatic paralysis.